This year I brought my one pound combat robot Papa Boris to Cirque 2019, and hopefully this time it'll work, unlike every other time I've built a combat robot. It begins in three, two, one. Fight robots, fight! My first fight of the night is against Kitty Cat, last year's Cirque champion, and I immediately lose drive on one side and so does he. So we both end up crab walking towards each other, trying to get a hit in. <laughs> well then, what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this match goes the full two minutes and Papa Boris wins by judge's decision. So good start for Papa Boris. My next fight is against McWedgie, just your basic wedge bot. So let's see how this fight goes for me. And the match will begin in three, two, one, go! Papa Boris getting his weapon to speed. Lots of sparks. Probably titanium on titanium. It always puts on a good show. Uh oh. Back out of there. Oh no. Yeah, there you go. Papa Boris had a little trouble. His front weapon rides on a, a, a hardware piece that can get caught on small cracks, and the trap door has. Little... Now, my bot is a horizontal undercutter, which means the bar runs very close to the floor. And this also means I'm riding on a little piece of plastic right now, which can kind of drag me around a little bit and make it hard to drive. Again, there's a challenge of the horizontal spinning weapon is that every time you hit your opponent, you get thrown off in the opposite direction. So you got to be able to survive. Oh, getting close to that pit. Oh, close one. Excellent driving skills there. Oh, he's, he's teasing him. My weapon motor stripped out of the screws holding it down, and the weapon was just kind of riding loose in the bearing, and the bearing also melted a little bit, so I replaced the pieces of the bearing, replaced the drive motor, and now I'm ready to go for my next fight against Taser. Also, now I'm in the loser's bracket, so I have to win this next fight. Next up is Taser, which is a lifting wedge, and I'm running undercutter this time. Hopefully I can get around to the back and attack those nice juicy treads or something of importance. During the first part of the fight, Taster's doing exactly what he was designed for, deflecting my blows with his wedge, and he's got me on the run. He's controlling this fight, and he's the aggressor. Right now, he's definitely winning. After this hit, I start to rip the wedge right off the face of Taster, and at this point, the match really starts to turn around for me. Ha! 
fight is against another wedge bot, St. Michael. My bracket's been stacked with wedge bots so far, which is definitely not the kind of opponents I would like to face. Please press your start button when you're ready. Oh, yeah. Michael is ready. And the match will begin in three, two, one. Fight robots, fight. More is getting up to speed. Take out a juicy wheel. Ooh, big hit. A little bit of foam. A lot of the tires are just solid foam, so they can take a few hits and keep on going. Nice. Ooh, big hit there. <laughs> so what happened is I rode up on his top armor and ripped the top armor off, which exposed the batteries they had to call the match, but it also ripped out his power switch, so even if they didn't call the match, he wouldn't have been able to move afterwards. My next fight was against Dipster, a vertical spinner made of 3D printed plastic, I think, with metal wedges in the front. Let's see how this fight goes for me. Well, competitors, when you're ready, press your start button. And the match will begin in three, two, one. Point robots fight. Ooh, there's some good sparks there. Horizontal versus vertical. See which one can come out on top. Uh-oh, big piece chipped off the front, looks like a dips there, but I'm sure it's not important. Boris will be going around. You gotta get the when it's powered up makes him want to steer one way or the other, so you kinda have to work with it. And he's passing circles around the opponent. Trap door is now open. He's just gonna make an impact there, some sparks as the weapons collide. Ooh, more pieces flying off. Again, with a shot impact, it gets too much. That's a nice hit there. Oh, oh, another big hit. Looks like a chunk of tire missing After that big hit, he flipped my robot over, and that gave me a good enough angle to rip a chunk of his tire off. And then he hit me again, and my wheels just stopped. Dead stop in their tracks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Morris, can you show some drive? Oh, well, a little bit there. Oh, I think that's just the motor torquing it. Alright, we're gonna have to count down Papa Boris. If all you can do is rotate with the weapon, that's in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's the end of the match. Your winner is Dipstrom. And with that, Papa Boris is out of the competition. And I'm out of the competition, which sucks, but I did pretty well. Did better than my other robots have, so I'm not too bummed about that. And also, I have another competition coming up in a couple weeks, Rocky Mountain Gear Jam. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.